Hello, hello, hello. This is Zach of Composition Critiques, and welcome to Across the Musical Globe, where we take a look at songs made in foreign countries, regardless of the language barrier. Today, we get to travel all the way to Italy, where we analyze the Moniskin song, Ziti e Buoni, which translates to Shut Up and Behave. Let's explore. Before we dive in, let's talk about the song's success. Off of the band's second studio album, Teatro Dira, Volume 1, which translates to Theater of Wrath, Volume 1, this particular track won the Sonremo Music Festival and the Eurovision Song Contest two years ago. Plus, it peaked at number 8 on the U.S. Hot Hard Rock Song Chart associated with Billboard and at number two on Italy's Femi Chart. I have to say that it deserved all of the success it received because this rocks. Now, in terms of the production and instrumentation, this tune showcased how original and creative it really is within the punk genre based on Ethan Torquio's crystal clear yet muted drum work, Thomas Raggi's seething guitar riffs, and Victoria DeAngelis's assertive yet reserved bass lines. Then we have the vocals from Damiano David, as his thick Italian accent is the perfect fit for this brooding punk song while his lyrical flow gets faster and faster throughout the verses. As for the choruses, he roars like an untamed lion, letting out his frustration towards the people against him. Meanwhile, in the bridge, he slyly expressed his resentment towards his enemies within the first half. But then by the second half, he lets loose like a misanthropic zoo animal. Finally, we have the lyrics that summarize how the world views rebellious millennials and Zoomers based on their appearances and habits in the first verse, while the young adults reject what they've been taught in the second verse. Also, the third verse Bodley alludes to Icarus and Hydra in order to compare the younger generation from the older generation in terms of wisdom and ambition. But the main lyrics come within the chorus as Damiano rants about how we're not like the others, suggesting that being a rebel is equivalent to finding your true self while the traditionalists are living lies. I hope you enjoyed this adventure. Please make sure to like and share this video, drop a comment below, and follow me on this platform. Thank you.